Langham started well and within 12 minutes were on the scoreboard with a try from Keith Davidson, the ex-Edinburgh pro finding space on the left to open the Langham account. Neil Cubbon converted. Shortly after, Cubbon bagged a penalty before David Irvin raced away for his first try of the season to put the Milntown men firmly in control at 15-0. And Berwick's only answer was a penalty in front of the posts by the border's second top point scorer this season, Matthew Hackett. But the try of the game came on 28 minutes. Langham were running the ball from everywhere, combining on a number of occasions to find gaps in the Berwick defence. Fullback Colin Jardine here, cleaning up a loose ball with winger Jamie Little, setting things up for centre Neil Cubbon to burst through. Hand on to David Irvin, who gave the scoring pass to Alistair Cavers, who thoroughly enjoyed diving over the line. But Berwick didn't come all this way to roll over, and they tried to put some positive play together. But they found Langham to be a very difficult side to break down, generally well disciplined in defence and equal to anything that Berwick threw at them. When Matthew Hackett uncharacteristically missed an easy penalty in front of the posts, you got the feeling that this wasn't going to be Berwick's day. Berwick weren't short of possession and at times they put some good pieces of play together, including this run from veteran Ben McCreeth, who managed to punch a few holes in the Langham armour before being stopped in his tracks. But as half-time came, they were still well adrift. Langham targeted a bonus point and after a Matthew Hackett penalty for Berwick, they got it. Stephen Nicholl was in the right place at the right time to get his fifth try of the season, putting him in second place in the Borders try-scoring table. Still Langham pushed for more points, happy to try all kinds of tactics to break down the Berwick defence and this Neil Cubbon kick and catch typified the inventive play which the home team were employing all afternoon. Cubbon had scrum half David Irvin on his shoulder, but a try-saving tackle by Gareth Hill denied Irvin a second try. Both sides must be complimented for moving the ball on the heavy pitch and trying to create chances. This move from Berwick almost coming off, but it was Langham who handled the better of the two sides, and their support for each other was a key factor in them winning today's game. Although they couldn't score any more points, a bonus win was exactly what Langham needed to put them up to third in the table, with one eye on a promotion place as they start to put a winning run together. Final score at Milntown, Langham 29, Berwick 6. We're obviously playing pretty well. Uh, it's, a huge, it's been a huge team effort today. Um, and we scored some of the best tries that we've scored this season, so it's been pretty good. Now the third uh, try I thought was uh, particularly good because a lot of interpassing uh, going on there. Yeah, uh, we, we've practised on it in training, our, um, our, our support running, our, our running lines, support lines, and they paid off today because the third try was a good one, but I thought our second try was good as well. So, um, as I say, it's, it's, it's all about the training. We've, we've had a good squad up in the last couple of weeks, so we've been working hard to, to try and rectify these things. And of course, a winning team obviously gets people interested, youngsters coming into the club? That's exactly it. Um, just last week, we've had three, four boys come back that haven't played for a few years, just because the, the buzz around the clubs, it's coming back again. So, um, the, the word on the street is we're starting to win games. We look like we can go somewhere and we're getting a lot of boys back, which is good. And a try bonus against Berwick, uh, not to be sneezed at? Not at all. We always knew it was going to be very, very tough. Um, we've put a good week in at, at training again, and we spoke about it this morning and, and on Thursday night. We knew it was going to be the most physical game, which I think it probably was. There were some big hits from, from either team, but um, to score four tries against them, it, it's always a, a great thing to do. So that's three wins on the bounce now. That could easily have been five as well because you lost by a point last kick against Annan, I think, yeah. several weeks ago. But you're, you're obviously getting this this uh, this will to win now. Yeah, that's it. We've got the bit between our teeth now and we're looking to carry it on. Um, Rob Little and, and Wal Hislop, our coaches, they're saying um, take each week as it comes. So we're obviously disappointed we couldn't get up to Canvas Lang last week because the ball's already rolling. But um, we just look forward to, to Murrayfield Wanderers next week and hopefully we can go up there and have a, a repeat performance. Well, Stevie Nicholl, five tries for the season. That's, that's a good afternoon's work again for you today. Yeah, just lucky, really, getting in the right place at the right time, feeding off my runners, 10 and Neil Cubbon and Keith Davidson. That's what I've been doing most of the season, just 
getting behind them, supporting them all game. That's pretty much what I've been told to do anyway. Now, the last time you were playing, it was a couple of weeks ago against Preston Lodge, mm -hmm. uh, who were bottom of the table, 65 points you scored then. Um, but we didn't expect to uh, to score four tries, really, against Berwick. And Berwick have been going very well this season. Oh, we knew that on Thursday night, like Neil said, uh, we targeted this game because we knew they'd come down. Berwick renowned for big forward play, hitting it up and just knew it was got to be a really tough ga uh, game. So to get four tries is really, really good. Big buzz going in the club, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh, it's going high just now. Really, it's uh, it's doing well. Like everybody in the town's talking about rugby again, and we're getting more numbers up. Last season we were struggling for numbers, but uh, obviously that winning feeling's back, and the buzz is there. It's good. Well, it's early days still because it's only seven matches, but um, you know you, you must be thinking now that uh, there's a good chance you can move into the Premiership. Yeah, there's always that chance. Uh, like I say, we're doing really well. The confidence is up, and uh, as long as we keep winning, next week against Murrayfield Wands, big game. We're uh, targeting that as an away win, so it should be good. Hopefully we can keep that ball rolling. And a big bonus today as well, scoring that, that, that fourth try, which was uh, very important. You're the one who went over before the fourth try there. But uh, try bonuses are so important this, oh, yeah, this league. Yeah. The bonus points are uh, what people live off, really. It comes between that close in our league. It's Even a losing bonus is a big thing in our league. So uh, to get another try bonus again this week's really good. Pleased with that as well. We've done everything right pre-season or like during the week you know the guys are pretty positive and we thought we could come up here and you know and really do do a number on Langham but in all fairness I thought Langham played well they did the basics well they defended well and they took their chances well and when we had our chances we just never seemed to seem to create anything. Scrum Magazine is the driving force behind grassroots rugby with regular editions throughout the year you can stay in touch with club and schools rugby. For full details go to scrummagazine.com